Autodesk Platform Services is gonna just provide this glue. It's, it's gonna seem magical. I'm a solutions architect in the, the Stantec Buildings Group. Stantec is a large company. We do a little bit of everything, not even a little bit. We do a lot uh, of everything. Architecture, engineers, geoscientists, all sorts of things. So I'm, I'm buildings focused. I really live and breathe in the AEC space. Creating communities is kind of central to Stantec's way of thinking. We want to have communities of practice both within our organization and we also take great pains to serve the communities of customers as well. And so when I see something like Autodesk Platform Services in the direction that Autodesk is going right now, I get really excited because it's like, okay, this is actually what I do. We bring people together, we bring all these different things together, we stitch them together and we make something cool. In the early days, we were like everybody else. We used the Hero products as they were, right? In their vanilla form. That works okay, but there, there are challenges that are unique to every, every organization. And now with formerly Forge and now Autodesk Platform Services, this need to have all of that super specialized knowledge is, is just kind of starting to evaporate. You've got this opening up of who can play in the sandbox because now it's like, okay, I don't have to be a Revit experienced C-sharp developer to you know, get into this stuff. We are traditionally and still a, a, a big users of Autodesk software. In my team specifically, it's, it's very, very Revit heavy. The last 12 months have actually been really exciting. You start to see them making progress in really eliminating the file, the RVT document, right? It's just always been this, this closed thing that, you know, you know, all right, I gotta open up Revit and get some data out and do all this kind of stuff. You can start to see that beginning to dissolve with these things called data exchanges. So today, what you can do is you can take this Revit exchange file and you can just say, okay, this exchange, you live in uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud. I'm gonna use Autodesk Platform Services to download this exchange and read all of its data. I can do whatever I need to it. It's fascinating and really powerful. Everybody always wants to predict, so if I, you know, if I put on my wizard hat and break out the crystal ball. I'll... I suspect the direction of this file-less future is, is really what's, what's coming. Them acting as a platform not only for their own products, but also those of their competitors. We saw that with the Rhino to Revit connector. Having them double down and say that, you know, we want to work with everybody. We, we want to provide this ability to use the tool that you're most familiar with, that you think is the best tool for the job. It's exactly what the industry needs. It continues to be fragmented, but it's fine because at the bottom level of everything, it's all just data and they're gonna stitch it together and it's all just gonna work. Just like that. Exactly. <laughs>